What are MDF funds or marketing development funds? How do you get them? Is there a way you can get them as an MSP? And if you've never heard of them, you 100% need to watch this entire video because it is essentially free money. My name is Harrison Barron from growth-generators.com. We help MSPs with growth. That's what we do. Whether that's sales training, marketing, business operations, we are there to help you out. That is what we do here at Growth Generators. If you'd like to reach out to us, growth-generators.com. And if you want to help see all the helpful links, including our resources page, with ha which has tons of free content from onboarding to pricing guides to the master classes, there will be a link down below. I would highly, highly recommend going and checking that out and grabbing some of the free materials out there. So let's talk about the marketing funds. By the way, if you want to join the Discord, growth-generators.com forward slash Discord, uh, we'd love to have you. Um, so what is these marketing development funds? What do they actually mean? How do you apply for them? And before we dive into that, let's take a step back because we can't move forward in this topic before we really kind of see where we're at. While you're an MSP, you're going to be doing a ton of stuff. And I hate to use the word stuff, but that's realistically what we do. You compile all the things that we do from cleaning computers to service desks to buying comp computer components to installing those cloud software, selling that, maintaining it. All of that is stuff. And all of these actions have a reaction, something happens, you buy something from a company in many cases, and then you sell it to another company. And through that process, you start to build, we'll call it street cred. Obviously, that's a little bit of a joke. But the businesses that you're buying from Dell, HP, Lenovo, PAX 8, ESET, it does not matter whatever company it is, but as a MSP, you want to come up with your hardware stack and your software stack. And I've talked about this in previous videos and I definitely worth going to check those out, but you figure out what vendors you absolutely, absolutely love. And then you take those and you start implementing it for client after client after client. And what happens is, is over the course of time, you sell hopefully hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars of this software and hardware as you put you progressively grow your business. Because remember, if you make a million dollars, it doesn't mean there's a million dollars in profit. Every piece to the business has different parts of profit, whether that's service, whether that's hardware sales, software sales, all of the profit changes. But over time, you begin to sell and sell and sell and figure out what you like, and you begin to implement that more and more. Well, something strange happens. These businesses that you're buying that from, and I'm going to share my screen here, whether that's, you know, we have Microsoft, I just pulled up Dropbox here, but even Dell, Lenovo, all of these companies, usually the bigger companies, but there are smaller companies out there that are offering this. And what happens is they start to see what's going on and they have a budget for you to give you free money. And this free money is kind of free, kind of not free. Now, it's not money that you could just go pocket. It's money that has to be used for something. And that's where MDF comes into play. Marketing development funds. Now, the way you get this is building that strong relationship, building up that credibility and showing that you're brand loyal. These companies want you to push a ton of their product. And in return, they also want to help you grow because guess what? When you grow, they make more money too. So it's kind of a win-win. It's kind of a little kickback, but there are some stipulations that you have to do. First is going to be meeting criteria. Now, some of these businesses, if you work with them and you have an account manager or, or some kind of executive in the company that manages you, they know the secret criteria. They may tell you, they may not tell you. Some will, some won't. Some will say, hey, you're right there. You got to push a little further and get up there. And then magic starts to happen. Now, there's a whole bunch of things that happen at that time, from peer groups to special invites to special groups you could be a part of. And one of those is getting allocated marketing development funds or MDF funds, as most people would call it. Now, the cool part about this is there's a couple ways you could do this. Now, they will sometimes offer it to just say, hey, by the way, you've sold, I don't know, a million dollars in Office 365 this year. We'd like to give you 
X amount of money and they'll figure out that number and they have those numbers and we'll give you X amount of money. And what you have to do is you have to take those MDF funds and spend it on sales or marketing. And usually there's criteria that you have to meet one for them, but also for yourself. You can't just take that money and run. You have to show that you allocated that money to sales or to marketing or to really growing the business. They don't want to see you letting it on fire and they don't want to see somebody putting it in their pocket. But essentially, that money can be used for anything however you like, whether that's hiring a marketing company, such as my own, you can hire a graphic designer to help you with things, you can hire an ads person, whatever it is, as long as it would fall in the column of marketing or the column of sales, you're, you're golden when it comes to those things. Now, you can ask for these MDF funds. It's not uncommon, but you definitely want to go about it in a little bit softer approach because they reserve this money for, the, we'll call it the heavy hitters. They want to make sure, and that's why I mentioned before being brand loyal and selling a lot of it. If you're selling a bunch of different brands, right, HP, Lenovo, Dell, whatever it might be, well, that's great, and you're probably delivering what their customer needs. In all reality, most of them are just logos on the machine. They're all going to do the exact same thing for the most part, but whoever makes the money values that. So if you're dishing out your, let's say, million dollars in hardware sales across all of the brands, well, if you sell four different brands, just for easy math, let's say it's 250, 250, 250, 250, you might not ever hit that million dollar mark that would get you to the point where you're getting those MDF funds. And that's something that's really important to understand. That's part of their criteria. They want you to hit the million. And that's my tip and trick for you is find out what you love and try to stay into it. I'm not saying don't sell other brands. If there's a brand or a machine that somebody offers that's a really good fit for a customer, sell it to them. You do the right thing. But if somebody says, hey, I just need a computer for so-and-so, they need two screens, this is what they're doing, the applications that they're using, you can sell that to the brand that you like the most and you've had probably the most positive experiences with. Now, when you go about and you start selling, I would probably wait till you're at the half million to a million dollar mark, you can then go to these companies and ask your executive, your handler, whoever that might be, and say, hey, I'm interested in some MDF funds. I I know I've I have friends, right? You could just say I have friends that have gotten it before. I don't know exactly what I'd have to do. Would you be open to a conversation about it? Sometimes they might be able to allocate a smaller amount than they would normally do. Totally fine. Sometimes they might say, "Yeah, actually we were just waiting for you to ask." It's something you want to kind of keep in your back pocket and you don't want to show your cards too early. You definitely want to be moving a serious amount of product before they actually say, hey, or you ask for the, hey, I want free money. Now, these exist all over the place. I'm using big companies. There are plenty of small companies out there, and it's a conversation that you can have because that money could help you launch your social media campaign, could help you launch Facebook could help you rebuild the website. Could it, it, the 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 possibilities are truly truly endless, and that's how you go about getting this essentially free money out there. The more you make for them, the more you're they're, you're going to get a kickback from them. And typically, when you're getting these MDF funds, you're going to start to see things start to change in your business. Obviously, you're going to be getting a ton of cash injections, but like I said, special groups, special peer groups special invitations start to come out because these companies typically have some kinds of events or events through the year where they invite their certain per, like levels of partnership. And you might not even be eligible until you hit a certain tier. And I'm telling you this as kind of a broad brush stroke, not because I want to give you bad information, but because there's no possible way, one, any of these companies are going to give me this information. But two, every company is going to have very different requirements of, hey, you got to spend this much, you got to do this, you got to do this, whatever it might be. But knowing it's out there, knowing it's available, and knowing if you sell enough of the products and services, you can start to get this kind of kickback money that can either help you launch your marketing campaign or take it to the next level.
So I hope this video helps you guys. If you haven't heard of this before, first, I want you to hit the like button and the subscribe button. And heck, if you want to take our relationship to the next level, that little notification bell, I'd appreciate the absolute heck out of you. Thank you so much for that. But if you want to start to figure out, just start asking. You don't have to be super invasive. Just say, hey, I learned about MDF funds or how does this actually work? Or even ask your other peers around you. Hey, did you ever have you ever gotten this? Trust me. People will give you the information, but you probably didn't know it before this video. If you learned something new, please let me know down in the comments below. And if you have any topics that you'd like me to cover, as always, please ask them down below. I get a ton of video ideas from the comment section, and I always, always, always appreciate them. And I just want to serve you guys and help you guys to the best of my ability. Other than that, as always, love the heck out of you guys. Always appreciate you guys checking us out. And other than that, have a banger day. I'll see you guys later. Bye.